Hello and welcome to a very simple tutorial from Wind Brothers Creations. Welcome to my channel, my ongoing regular subscribers and my new subscribers. Welcome. Today it won't be about Buddy. It will be about uh, actually Father's Day this weekend on Saturday Market. I'll be vending. I'm out of stock so I have to start making something quick and easy and these are the easiest fastest things to make. It's a little coin pouch as you can see, has a little charm inside, it's not lined but it's just something that could be used for moms, dads, teenagers and it comes in different styles. So let's get going on our tutorial and again don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new. Again, focusing on Father's Day, I'm going to make some little coin pouches with these little iron-ons. I'll list a uh, description below where I purchased these. And also, I would just like to mention, uh, this is from my Zuni Bear fabric. I'll also list uh, the description below where you can purchase these. They're not at your local fabric store. And what I did is I just simply cut strips. I have a very 60 minute short video on how to make bookmarkers out of the this fabric. But for today's tutorial we are going to be using uh, I have a lot of horse prints here that I've also listed below so if you're interested uh, just click below and you'll see where you can purchase these beautiful horse fabrics today I'm going to be using this fabric here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a black that I just have black fabric canvas I've already added the zipper to it the only thing is I took off the zipper to make it easier and I'm going to cut strips. As you can see, I just started. So all I'm going to do is cut strips. That's strips. My guide will be the middle portion. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here I cut my pieces of fabric. This is for the smaller wallet. This is about maybe not quite nine inches in the width. And it is about, uh, about eight inches. So eight times eight. Uh, would be your measurements for that this one's a little bit longer so this one I had to get my big large roller measuring stick so this was about four inches 14 inches across and the width of this one would be about nine and a half so this is canvas material you can purchase it by bolt by yard or there's even ready-made ones that all you can do is just put it together so now we're gonna start putting it together so I cut out that strip of fabric, as you can see, it's not even crooked, but that's okay because my guide will be right here, this little rope on the side. And what I did is I just took it over to the ironing board and I just pressed it. Now when you turn it around, you'll see that it looks like a very, very nice strip. This is not going to be lined. This is one of my cheaper little bags that I just sell for really, really cheap because it's so easy, fast to make and everybody just loves it. And uh, there we go. So I'm going to put these together and I'm also going to show you other designs that I make. So I'm going to make this one really quick. So what you want to do is you pin it down or you tape it down or whatever it is the easiest. You decide where you want it. Do you want it about half an inch from the top? Do you want it more like a border down towards the middle? So you have to decide what you want. Here I'll use the smaller version. So let's just say I want this here. Of course, when I iron the other side, I'm going to put them together so they can be both uh, like that way. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide once I cut it, do I want this first, this little bag to be uh, the little coin bag like this style, like this? where there's a little gap on the top and if you have coins or something and you forget to zip it nothing will fall out or if you want to have it the top version like a little purse like this okay so I'm gonna just decide to make it just like the other one so I'm gonna have it this way so what I like to do first is I always iron the middle right in the middle and I end up just pinning so let's just say I pin it here on this section and then uh, let's just say I iron the other section and then I pin it here. And this is just to show you just an example. I don't want to cut it yet. So then I'll be able to have a little section like that for the border. All right, so I'm going to kind of cut it, give you a better idea. Give me a minute. Okay, so here I have already cut the strips to the little coin purse. So you have two options. You can uh, stitch it beforehand or stitch it uh, 
the first time when you're going to just do your little project. I just, uh, I did stitch it just for tutorial purposes because I didn't want to go over it. And what I like to do is I like to go right in the middle. And because this is canvas, when you wash it, it gets a little wrinkly. You got to iron it really good. And also the zipper. And I'll show you where I purchased my zippers. And what I like to use my godson's little ruler. And I always put it right in the middle. There is the middle. And that's how I measure that it's going to come out even. Because, you know, at Seamstress, right, we're always... Uh, very critical in our little mistakes even if it's like a little tiny bit off we will see it a mile away so that's what I'm doing here so I just pinned it very easily just to show you and there's gonna be the middle so now I'm gonna take it to the machine and stitch it and then what I was explaining earlier is that you have to decide how you want your your purse so do you want this with the border right on the bottom like this and it doesn't have to be decided yet because here is what it's going to look like in the front. And then this is what it's going to look like in the back. Or do you want it just in the middle like a regular little purse? I make little children's purses like this. And then I just put parachute rope on it and a little clip and then it's just done. That's how easy this is, putting it back together. And of course, then you have to also put your zipper back together. So what I have to do is, um, we all, you'll have to do is put it back inside. And that's not hard to do. It just takes some uh, tweaking of the little tiny nylon zipper. Okay, so I'm going to stitch this up. I'm um, going to be right back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I stitched it. I used white thread. I didn't have beige and black in the back, so you'll they'll see nothing back in the Back, back, background section so now I if I decide to make the coin purse again like I said um, the regular purse like this which I am making a coin purse but like a purse style then you have to make sure these are gonna match very important because you don't want to stitch it and then one is off so you have to make sure that is uh, actually matching once that's matching then you have to decide okay I need to put a little uh, hook and so I have these little D rings, very easy, simple. I have to decide if I'm going to use uh, buckskin. I have that because that will match really nice. Or um, maybe other colors that go with it that I've made previously for the little section of the, to hold the D ring. Or I can also use this that's from another fabric that's similar. It's that I used uh, Basically, I could have used any of these here strips, but I'm using one that's very familiar, a little bit darker from this print here. So I think I'm gonna use this. What I do is I just put the little D-ring in there so I can figure out where I'm going to, how big and wide it's gonna be because that's where we are gonna put our hook. So I purchased these hooks uh, in Amazon, and if you uh, want to know, have the link, I will list the link below. So that's where you start making the little colors. Okay, am I going to put that one? So you can decide on that. And also, I wanted to share about the zippers. I buy them in bulk, and uh, I use, these are the colorful ones. Oh, I have some bookmarkers I've been making. These are the colorful ones. So these are the ones that are really easy. And I buy the little tool kit where I can take that little metal off and just separate it. So much easier to do your projects. So they come in many colors, many sizes, but I just wanted to show you uh, the zippers. Then I also buy, I purchase uh, the parachute rope. And this comes in many colors also. So that's when you decide what color do you want your strap to be for the purse, right? So we're gonna focus mostly on the little queen purse. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that together so that you can see this one, how this one will turn out. So give me a minute. Okay, so you just hook your little D-ring through the fabric. I don't know if you could see that, it just loops right through. And you decide how long you want it. Do you want it uh, shorter? Do you want it like this, si this size here? So I'm going to have this one about the average size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over. But before I turn it over, I need to decide how I want this print. So let's see if I can put this lower. So I, I'm going to decide to have it like this style here. 
so that there's a little This is the hard part. <laughs> oh my gosh, I thought I had to go pause. Hold on. <laughs> I thought the recording was not on. It's hard because of my arthritis. You have to grip. As you can see, I did put it in, but I did it crooked, so I got to start all over again. I'll be right back. Ooh, okay, after several attempts, I got it through. There it is. It's inside now. And uh, I do use my little zipper toolkits and all these little zippers that I, uh, pieces and parts that I purchase when I make my little items. So this comes in very handy, but I didn't use it. I actually used my thumbs and my thumbs are sore because I got bitten out of all places by a little dog here. I went to pick him up. I thought he was going to get run over in, uh, in the street. He was running towards the street and he bit me. I had to get my tetanus shot and I got beginning stages of cellulitis. My hand was like huge. So it didn't help with my hand, but that's a story for another day. Okay. So here we go. Now we can, I'm, what I'm going to do is right away. I put these little clips on the edges so I don't lose that section. Once that zipper goes out, that's it. You're done. You got to start all over again. So now I'm going to flip it over that little section where I had saved right here it's still there's the indentation you can't really see it but I had indented it with my fingers so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back the way it was I'm gonna pin it all down then I'm going to put the little d-ring on the inside so my zipper will be ending on this side so I want to put the d-ring on this side because it makes it easier if you put it on the same section it they both kind of dangle and this one here uh, you, they'll be able to see the little charm when you put your charm and it'll just click like this versus the zipper being this way together and they'll both be like clanking with each other right so that's what I'm doing here I'm gonna put this in I'm gonna pin it all down and sew it up Okay, so I went and stitched it with black thread on the machine. I don't know if you're used to working with canvas, but it uh, it's a very kind of little tricky type of fabric. So I haven't did the final stitches. I just want to see what it looks like. If it looks good, then I will continue and complete the stitching. So this gives you a chance uh, because you know if you do it wrong if it's crooked lopsided guess what you got to tear it all apart and it's best to just do it before you do the final final stitching and you're all you think you're all done when you look at it you got to start all over again so everything looks good here i'm going to flip it back over as you can see everything's where i want it to be the Everything came out just perfect. So uh, I'm gonna go back and top stitch it. Then I'm gonna put the final decisions. Do I want a black clip? Do I want a brown clip or a black one? And then I'm gonna also decide what kind of little uh, charm I'm gonna want. Am I gonna want, uh, I don't know, I have horses in here. They run out. Okay, here we go. Am I gonna want just a little plain charm like this one? Or am I going to want something more uh, Western style? Those are the only horses I have. But there was another one in here. Okay, well, that's going to have to do. Or a cowboy hat, cowgirl hat, or a little, uh, like a horseshoe. So that's where you decide your final decision of what um, to make your little purse. Okay, I'm going to finish up. Okay. So I'm putting the last minute detail on my charm. So everything looks good. I decided to go with the little horseshoe because there was way too many horses to put that little horse by itself. So there you go. I don't have time to make the larger purse tutorial, but at least here you have an idea how to make a fast little coin pouch. Or it could be for your cell phone. You could put your cell phone in there, it might fit in there. Anything you want, and it'll clip to your bag. It will clip everywhere, uh, to your inside your purse, and it's just an easy thing. I also like to add maybe a little, uh, one of these little wrist guards or wrist handles. Well, there you have it. Come to one of my Saturday market, and if you mention the YouTube tutorial, you'll get a big discount. There you go. 
Thank you. And have a great day. And again, thank you for joining. And I'll see you soon at one of my events. God bless.